tell the, the, the Saudis to go F themselves, all these different things that were that were written in these different documents. To which you look at it and it goes, I, I literally saw people calling calling it that this was the Hunter Biden laptop of golf. That was an exact quote that I saw out there. I'm glad Matt Adams saw and referenced the clickbaity title to my YouTube video where I used Hunter Biden's laptop. But in so doing, Matt Adams also proved Desert Duffer's point that the mainstream golf media is lazy, along with inept, corrupt, and a whole lot of other pejoratives. Desert Duffer LLG. He found these documents. The best way we can learn about Desert Duffer LLG is through his tweets and through the LLG Live Laugh Golf podcast. I've listened to a few episodes. I've just started following this guy recently, but I'm going to use the phrase kindred spirit. It's almost frightening how similar our tweets are in terms of their disdain for certain players and our absolute despisal of the PGA Tour. Max Homa tweets, if the OWGR is abolished, I'm very down to move strictly to the eye test. The majors could do legit drafts of the top X players they think are worthy of exemption for their events. Would be epic and the content bonanza hashtag golf. Duffer fires back. Lord knows the objective criteria. Haven't done a great job at predicting your success in majors. Now look at this masterpiece of a tweet I put out regarding Max Homa. Max Homa, 7th in OWGR on his way to missing the cut in the ninth out of the 16 majors he has played in. On a course, he holds the course record. Zero top 10s in majors. Best finish in a major is a T13. Second best is a T40. But again, 7th best player in the world, I'm told. Yes, stylistically different, but in substance, the same. We both recognize Max Homa is overrated. He's not good in the majors, and he's really just a fabrication of the PGA Tour who needs to create these new players who are needy and feely and always want to express themselves. We don't care, Max Homa. You need to start doing some testosterone therapy or something because no dude expresses himself all the time like you do. Okay, Desert Duffer passed the Max Homa test, but how does he feel about JT? I'll go first this time. When Tiger's talking about the rollback and saying the guys are becoming more athletic and getting bigger, stronger, faster, I point out, hey, JT isn't getting bigger, faster, and stronger. I also point out that when Colt Noss picked him at 28 to 1 odds, that if you bet $100 on JT, you'll only lose $100. Duffer comes in with some hypertrophy is an un unavoidable and beneficial result for someone in his early 30s working out the way JT was shown working out unless he's not getting nearly enough protein. He has no muscle mass. That's hilarious and true. JT, people like him are undersized, remind me of Kirsten Dunst in Interview with a Vampire. Remember, she's permanently trapped in child's body. The difference between her and JT is she's at least angry about it. This dude walks around like there's nothing wrong. Dude, there's a whole lot of things wrong. And for many reasons, including his childlike size, I don't like the guy. For Final Jeopardy, we go to no laying up. These guys are truly the worst. I've only watched them for maybe 60 minutes tops if you added up all of their videos I've ever watched, mostly because I saw Solly on the Pat McAfee show and also these guys call into Rich Eisen and I usually do some research on Rich Eisen so that I can always believe the opposite of what Rich Eisen believes. That guy also sucks. But the original vampire of sucking is Alan Shipnuck. And I ask you all to take a moment to look at how much Solly looks like the Russian nesting doll, like the inside doll version of Alan Shipnuck. That guy is truly the worst. Duffer, you think? It was at no laying up that banned me from a message board I hadn't visited in weeks after I made fun of Charmin Soft at PGA Tour Jocksniff for Solly on the pod. Now I won't be able to get 15% off my NLU tactical clothes. Likewise, when I had an NLU troll pop up on my Twitter, I noted in his prior tweets that he noted, already sold out of the new lightweight hoodie on the at no laying up site. We need the merch czar to step it up at NGSCHUNLU. What kind of self-respecting man would lament 
not being able to purchase the new lightweight hoodie off the NLU website because it's sold out. And then you're trying to get in contact with the merch czar, trying to buddy up with these guys, thinking if you buy their hoodie, their new lightweight hoodie, that suddenly you're in the, in the club and, and these dorks will think you're cool. It's so pathetic that anytime this dude pops up on my Twitter, I just post his tweet again and he slithers away. So yes, five check passed for Duffer. I don't know who this masked hero is. I don't know if he's more of a Batman or a Zorro type, but from the research I've done from reading these tweets and from listening to the LLG Live Laugh Golf podcast, here's what I surmise. He's from the Northeast, probably Jersey, and he's watched Rocky IV and Pumping Iron combined at least 30 times. Only a guy who's watched Rocky IV and Pumping Iron that many times would point out that JT is suffering from a protein deficiency. It illustrated a lot of things, these documents, which to me, from the first time I saw him, and I didn't know what, what the source was. I knew, I knew it came from this Twitter account, but I didn't know what his source was. What went down was this cat and mouse game on Twitter playing out live with Duffer reaching out to Bob Harrig and giving him access to these documents, or at least the location as to where they were, so that Bob Harrick could confirm that these documents were authentic and legally out there. Once they found out through the efforts of Bob Harrick, I believe, who met with him and, and published it, that these were documents that were part of a, a court filing. And it turned out these documents were on this Flora database as per the case that Patrick Leeds lawyer had filed in Florida. And he came on later on and said, folks, the source was court filings. Remember, Patrick Reed's attorney still has, has a case going. They got released. Duffer had been following the case on the side very quietly. And as soon as the documents appeared, he knew where they were. Of course, he points out the media, not so smart. They can't figure it out. So he made a stipulation to Bob Harrig to not tell the other media dum-dums where the documents were. So that they could continue to show their incompetence. It was going to be a clown show. Unfortunately, obviously, Bob Harrig revealed his untrustworthy nature and then revealed the source of the documents, thereby saving the face of the legacy media a little bit at least. But still, pathetic. He was properly chastising golf media, saying, you guys aren't doing your work. He was calling it, in my, my terminology, not him, blind loyalty to ignore it. It's hilarious that Matt Adams is calling out the legacy media here when apparently his research is just looking at the thumbnail of my video on these papers that were dumped by Duffer. It's also funny that Duffer chose to reveal these documents to Bob Harrig, the same guy who, after I called the USGA and find out that Roy McElroy made an improper drop. He then three days later calls up the USGA and writes a Sports Illustrated article on it. These guys are the worst. I have an IQ of 82 and that's still a full 15 points higher than Bob Harrick and the rest of the legacy golf media. The problem is when you judge these documents standing alone is that you're judging them standing alone. What would be, for example, the equivalent side if you saw the same revelation of documents from, say, the live side? Matt Adams playing the what if card. Would you not see the same vitriol? Would you not see the same tell them where they can go? If there are dorky files and papers from the live side and they come out, then we'll call them what they are. Dork files, just like the PGA Tour revealed themselves to be a bunch of dorks. You got these goofy lines that Tiger was just was scripted to say. You got all these DP World Tour, PGA Tour documents where the PGA Tour was gonna try to get 100% ownership of the DP World Tour. So instead of addressing any of these details, Matt Adams decides to play the, well, you know, we don't know what's going on the other side. Maybe they have the same things out there just like the PGA Tour does. And then he spends the rest of this seven minutes or so discussing how both sides are trying to win hearts and minds. But that was the battle of hearts and minds that was going on at that time. In reality, we are truly seeing that the emperor is not wearing any clothes. 
thanks to the great work of Duffer. Again, if you look at it from the perspective of where they were at that time, it doesn't really surprise me all that much. So it wasn't quite the smoking gun in my mind that everyone's making it out to be. Now, July 5th, Joel Beale writes, bombshell PGA Tour document release was caused by clerical error. He notes that the PGA Tour filed an emergency motion with the 15th Judicial Circuit Wednesday morning to reseal the documents, citing that the tour originally produced them under the court's protective order, which presumed the confidentiality of the discovery materials and that the documents contained trade secrets. Attorney Larry Clayman, who has been seeking a class action antitrust lawsuit against the PGA Tour, agreed, writing that the release of the documents appeared to be a clerical error by the court. Duffer tweets, nice of Joel M. Beal to mention me, but I actually first started posting documents on June 30th. Of course, I imagine it must be somewhat challenging writing an article citing to a Twitter account you've blocked laughing, smiling, crying face. Instead, there was the presumption that they were leaks and then using that as their armament to go, well, I'm not going to cover that story because I don't know the source. To which the speculation was raised, really? Or is there something else that you're trying to protect?